it's a high traffic, high volume intersection, and we were having a lot of accidents. And and they were the the biggest thing is they were always so severe. They were you know high injury, very serious accidents. And uh, um, since they put the new J turn in, we've had one or two minor fender benders, and that intersection is no longer a problem intersection for our our area. We had a lot of car accidents there, and I've been doing some also a volunteer a uh, rescue squad member and terrible accidents. Uh, one was a logging truck where some people got killed and logs spilled all over. Um, people just underestimate the speed of the traffic going each direction and they're trying to shoot across. They think they can get across. Um, since the J-turn's been there, I only remember one accident it was minor since then. A girl pulled out and she thought that the car was actually in the other lane, but it was minor and no injuries, nobody got transported. We haven't had a major accident there since uh, the J-turn's been installed that, that I know of, so. It was something new to the area and people were concerned they, weren't, they were gonna get there and not know where to go. We've got an issue here. Now let's, let's take a look at some of the options where we can make that intersection safer. And the R cut was, uh, was something new that I'll be honest, none of us really had heard about until uh, Department of Transportation. They had some engineers coming in and presenting it to us. And you know, we're looking at the traditional intersections and okay, maybe if you can widen it so a semi could fit in between, you know, uh, both east and westbound traffic, so there's at least enough room there. You know, I remember that was a consideration, an overpass, you know, was a consideration. And then the dark cut came out and we're like, it's just something that, you know, we weren't very familiar with. It's like roundabouts, you know, it's just, you haven't seen many of those around and now they're pretty popular. I haven't had one concern, uh, people not knowing how to negotiate it. I, it was a very smooth transition. You're not trying to negotiate that intersection by crossing four lanes of traffic all at once. It's two at a time, and by far that has, uh, was the biggest impact on making it safer. It eliminated those 90 degree accidents, especially uh, vehicles on Highway 54 traveling 65 miles an hour. You get team bowed by a, a vehicle going 65 miles an hour, people are getting hurt. Now when we're going out there, uh, the majority of our accidents are, are sideswipe in the same direction, okay? So, uh, slower speeds and you don't have that 90 degree uh, angles of, of collision. First off, you know, take a look at the, that, inter that particular intersection, intersection. If you have something that is um, unfortunately causing a lot of statistics being crashes are there you have to look at it at some way you have to look at what can we do to change whether it's on a law enforcement level or or something with whatever township or city that needs to take a look at making that change it's not cheap all right but how much does a life cost endorse those intersections any improvement to those intersections is is going to lessen you know, the severity of calls you're going to have on those intersections. I mean, I know that's what we do for a living, but we don't want to go to bad accidents. We'd much rather go to a fender bender and know that we can put a Band-Aid on somebody than know that we're, we're going to be doing severe care to, you know, try to save their life.